Hello and welcome back to another episode of White Album 2. We are playing through the closing chapter on Kohari's Root. So, <laughs> they were supposed to meet up, Haruki and Koharu, about five hours ago. She never showed up because she was upset about what happened at school and about losing all her friends, and they finally, finally found each other. I can no longer bring myself to blame her for being late and irresponsible. That's why I've returned to being the meddlesome Kitahara Haruki I was in the past. I'm involving myself in her affairs, even though she never asked for my help, and I'm doing my best to think of a solution that she doesn't want. I'll expose the truth of the emotions that are inside her, look the enemy directly in the eye, and make it so that I can protect her concretely. After all, this is the only thing I can do. <laughs> Just a little bit. And yet, Koharu, who's clearly over her limit, is still unable to let go of the heavy burden that threatens to crush her. だからって今の小春は見ていられない。なら見ないでください。恩人にそんなことできるわけないだろう。恩人。そうだよ。そんな大事な小春をこれ以上放っておくことは。でも。それでも。それでも。放っておいてください。これ以上。構うのやめてください
absolutely can't run away right now. That's what the kind people around me have taught me. Do better. Do better. Although her words are telling me she doesn't want this, Koharu does not pry off the arm that was wrapped around her shoulder. Then finally, we started to talk, little by little. We talked about how she ended up betraying her best friends, and the consequences that came with them. The gist of our conversation was much like what Takea already told me, but she ended up tossing an unusually large bomb at me in the end. I'm sure Koharu would have endured if she was the only one who ended up suffering from all this. And that's why it was kind of important that that talk at the school happened, even though it was not really a talk talk. But Koharu realized, you know, she's not the only one wrapped up in all this. But her actions ended up hurting other people. And there's also the fact that the person she believed to be her best friend ended up getting hurt most severely. There's no way her sense of justice that she always stood by would allow that. この幸せになるのが正しい。ほら。これで全ては解決です。ただ、雨の日もすぐ近くに来てる。Just like Takeya said, Koharu's collapsed. She succumbed to her sense of justice, friendship, common sense, her maternal instinct, her love, and her desires. She found herself being caught between layer upon layer of her heavy emotions, eventually becoming incapable of taking so much as a step forward. And the only thing that's left for her is to slowly waste away. And it's not just her, either. Yeah. I won't say, I didn't know about that, at this point. I can more or less predict the answer, and I decided that I should just accept it. If that's the case, Oh no, 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 that is such a bad answer. Don't ruin your life. Dumping a guy is one thing, but declining a university recommendation? Jitaishi 
本当に自分のしたかったことかどうかよく考えろ<笑>大学なんて行きたくなかったってなら別にいいけどなら今まで何のために勉強と部活両立して一生懸命頑張ってまで推薦取ったのか俺に教えてくれ<笑>それに推薦を辞退なんかしたら今後付属の推薦枠が縮小されるかもしれない後輩だったら不幸になっても構わないか I won't watch over here anymore I won't hold her gently or anything like that anymore まだまだ問題は山積みだ先生と両親をどう説得して大学にどう言い訳してそしてそのことを矢田さんにどう納得してもらう I'll thoroughly exploit any openings I can find in her logic. I'll show her how harsh the skills I've refined in my seminars are. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. I imagine that my own reasoning is full of holes as well. But I'll overcome that with the strength of my words. I won't give her any room to think. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. 本当の意味での行動ってことだと俺は思うけど小春の考えを聞かせてほしいなそんなのやってみなくちゃわからないじゃないですかやってみたことの結果にまで責任を負えなくて結局誰もが幸せになれなかったとしたら今の逃げてる状態と何も変わらないぞ Keep mocking her objections, which I can only see as excuses. I pierce over the cold stare that I have trained through my interviews while job hunting. Takea wa kohar no koto. Ore sokkuri da te itta kedo. Ore ni iwase te mire ba, mada mada zen zen da. Ma, toshi shita da kara shou ga nai te iwale taro. Ja, senpai wa. Hm? Ja, senpai wa. So, this is her limit, huh? But still, she's done well to endure this far. Three years ago, I would have lost it by now. I had a feeling, Koharu, but you still have a long way to go if you ask me. What is he acting so condescending for? Like, oh, you simple child. Oh, you'll catch up to me someday. Like, are you kidding me? As if Haruki isn't. I don't think that's going to be a good thing. Haruki is still, at this moment, continuing to ruin his own life and friendships and relationships. So, how dare he act condescendingly right now? She will become a far greater person. She will easily overtake me. I. Because even now, she's much more talented and patient, and compared to somebody like me, she's a much better person. Literally, I just. The words. <sighs> I put all my strength into my arms and embraced Koharu. <laughs> Koharu doesn't reject me. She willingly buries her face into my chest, and her overflowing tears soak my shirt. <laughs> Haruki-senpai, 
矢田さんが好きなんだな3年間ずっと一緒にいたんですよあんな自分勝手な子好きじゃなきゃ大好きじゃなきゃやってられません I'm sure that the history that they share is so important to her that the three months I've spent with her can't even compare to it. And I'm sure that it even rivals the three years I've been through myself. It's precisely because Koharu's emotions contain such a negative side that I believe that these emotions are genuine. If that's the case, perhaps. She can be annoying at times, and there are moments when I just want her to leave me alone, but I care about her nonetheless. I wonder if Yara san ever said something like that? <laughs> Poor girl. God, she's so young. I mean, literally, she's just wrapping up high school. She doesn't know. She's making mistakes. It might be imprudent to say this, but I'm honored. She should have been a serious and unbending girl, but she was sent into disarray to such an extent over her feelings for me. Before I knew it, Koharu's arms wrapped around me. But somehow, the feelings behind this hug were slightly different from her usual feelings for me. Koharu, Nara, you should be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. No, no, no. She wants me to be happy with Setsuna, Takea, and Io, as well as with Takahiro kun and the Yogiso family. She wants me to be happy with those irreplaceable people who were always kind to me. Even though all I did was run away. I love them very much too. Perhaps I can even say that I can't bear to lose any of them. However, Koharu's gradually losing things she simply can't bear to lose even as we speak. I can see my reflection through Koharu's wet eyes. Normally, this would be the time where our lips would naturally inch closer together. We're on the verge of collapse right now. It's just that my selfishness is causing me to attempt to delay that for the shortest moment. And not a word from Haruki about his situation with Setsuna. This is so unfair to Koharu. This is so despicably unfair to Koharu. <laughs> Koharu 
<laughs> because we only have each other, I can only gently put my hand on Koharu's head. And Koharu can only reluctantly endure my head hand patting her. That's why the droplets that are pouring from Koharu's eyes right now are merely my imagination. Or so I believe. <笑>キュー。ごめん。それだけのために どうせ人様に言われるほど頑張ってないし、それに杉浦には怒られ慣れてるし。でも今までは私が正しかったけど、昨日のは小木さんの方が正しかったから。今までは全部俺の方が間違ってたのかよ。ごめん、私また。いや
ちらにお世話になってから3ヶ月ほど経ちました少しずつ仕事にもなれやっと皆さんのお役に立てそうになってきたこの時期に辞めるのは大変申し訳なく思っています理由は個人的な事情で詳しくは言えませんがただしばらくの間学業に専念するつもりですこの3ヶ月間皆さんには大変にお世話になりました今後もこちらで得た経験や知識を生かして新しい環境でも頑張っていきたいと思います最後に店長代理チーフ職場の皆さん本当に突然のわがまま申し訳ありませんでしたそして今までありがとうございましたあ、oh, かわる What a big loss for the goodies restaurant. さようなら。みなさんもお元気で。After that, Koharu bowed deeply and everyone gave her a warm applause. Even if no one ever saw this coming, Sato, Nakagawa san, and the other core staff members still warmly bid her goodbye. Hey, so I'm going to go to the next one. 各自開店準備お願いしますねえねえ小春っち小春っちあチーフ今まで本当にお世話にそんなことよりもさちょっとちょっとこっちこっちあ,あはい And that wasn't the end of it Of course it's not the end of it Even after her speech, the girls gathered around Koharu to express how reluctant they were to say goodbye with happy and sad expressions alike. I was suddenly called back to work here, and I had to put up with a lot that I couldn't handle despite how I was initially supposed to be only working in shifts as a trainer. Even so, perhaps I couldn't have asked for a better workplace in terms of the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It only took me 10 seconds to take back my previous statement. Nanska, <laughs> <laughs> Poor goodies, literally losing like two of the best workers. Ore mo shibaraku yasumu te itta daro. Ma, kocho wa shigat ni natta ra, yobo shidai de wa fuki suru kedo. Raise de mo uramimasu yo, kita hara sa. いい加減それはやめろ十分店のために尽くしたろ俺も彼女も戦力になってくれちゃったのが痛いんすよ今から急いで求人かけたところで果たして即戦力が引っかかってくれるかどうか本人だって本気で悩んで決めたんだ気持ちよく送り出してやってくれ、はあ、まあ杉浦さんにはそうしますよ He can at least endure this much for her. It seems she was really worried about this. Given that this is the only place she can really be herself among a large group of people as of now, it's really hard for her to let such a place go. She struggled with it all night, on the verge of tears the whole time, but she finally made her decision this morning. Ma. とにかく本気でやばかったら相談乗るから今日のところは帰るな俺あ,あお疲れっすまた4月だからって復帰前提で話進めるなよ俺だって一応来年は就職組なんだからな The girls' farewell ceremony sure is quite noisy. 
Adorable. Senpai, omatase shimashita. Aww, a new chapter of their lives is beginning. And with that, we will stop there for today. Thank you so much for being here on this chapter of Koharu's Root, and I'll be back with more shortly. Until then, I hope you take care. See you!